last June, I moved my 83-year-old mother here to San Antonio with me. Then we sold my house that I had here because it really wasn't conducive for her. So I had moved Thursday and Friday and over the weekend to the new house. And I called Bina, my PCC, on Friday and I said, Bina, I don't think I can be there Monday because I've got movers coming again. I can't get everything out of my garage. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to be there. She said, there's a very important meeting and you have to be here for it. Uh, of course, I didn't know. It was a secret. Um, and they evidently everybody kept the secret fairly well. When I walked into the room, there was all the educators were there. The CNO, Tommy was there. My director was there, as well as the director for the emergency department, emergency room, the nurses were there. Um, the room was full. And so I was speechless, basically. And then they talked about things that I did and have been through the years. And it was like, very gratifying to know that somebody has noticed what I do, what I have done, and the things that I have accomplished the years that I've worked here. And then, makes me want to cry, it was really nice, but then she announced it was the Daisy Award, and then I saw my family come in, and it was very nice to be recognized like that. It was, it was surprising that they pulled all this together without me knowing a thing, because I was really surprised. The nurses, they'll tell me, well, if anybody will know it, you know it. You know policy. Anytime I have a question about policy, I know I can email you, you can, you'll answer right away. And so I've tried to build that as part of my uh, reputation so that um, people know that they, when they come to me, that I'll do my best to provide whatever that they need for them. And it's always nice to hear that from somebody else. Winnie the Daisy Award has redefined my commitment to nursing, to my staff, to the people that I work for, and for the patients and the families. Being in the ICU for as long as I have been, for 35 years before I moved down to the emergency, it was gratifying to see either the patients get better or what did I do for the families to help them over this, the loss that they had, um, how grateful they were for our assistance and care for their, their loved ones, and that we could help them in their time of need. And, and I've always enjoyed doing that. That's the best part of nursing, is the art of caring.